So, I don't know what to title this video, but we need to talk. Well, I need to talk, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. So, I really don't know what I'm gonna title this, but I don't know, I just, I don't know what I wanna talk to. So, I wanted to, I wanted to talk to people and poorly apply makeup. So, yeah, how are you guys? I don't know, I'm just bored. I'm a housewife with no kids in a school bus in the middle of the woods. So, yeah. Why the fuck is healthy food so expensive? While I look for my brushes and my shitty little makeup bag, my makeup pile, I just dumped everything out, so that's productive. Um, but yeah, why the fuck is healthy food so expensive? Honestly. And I'm so tired, I'm so tired of people fucking saying, Oh, healthy food's not that expensive. Um, it's less expensive than eating out and whatever bullshit that they say. Like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm not gonna be talking about the makeup that I'm putting on because I'm not very good at it. So, I'm using a Morphe palette, the 35F Fall Into Frost, this one. This is what I'm using. I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna even talk about it. I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like, okay, yeah, healthy food is less expensive for the quality of food that you're getting versus fast food. You can get, like, six McDonald's cheeseburgers for the same price as, like, one apple. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. And, like, okay, Maybe it's not very expensive if you only eat a little tiny bit of food and whatever, but like, yo, you guys, I can only eat healthy food. I'm allergic to everything else. I finally found a bag of potato chips I can eat, right? Because I can't fucking eat anything. I'm allergic to literally everything. I cannot eat food. Okay, so I found this bag of, they're called Paleo Puffs. I'm out of them, of course, while I'm making this because I keep fucking eating them all. But I finally found a bag of like Cheeto Puffs, kind of. They're like kind of like Cheeto Puffs. Um, and I can eat them and they don't make me sick. But like, it's like almost the same size as like a fucking, you know, those miniature like self fucking one person little like bags of Doritos and chips and shit. Like that's almost what size it is. It's a little bit bigger than that. Like I'm exaggerating, but not really, <laughs> like honestly. But one of those bags of chips is literally like $5.50. It's fucking ridiculous. And the reason why I can eat them is because it's made with all natural, organic, raw coconut oil and nutritional yeast and like cassava root and shit. Like it's really healthy. You know, and like, okay, no, I don't have to get chips. But like, even when, one time, literally, I went to the grocery store with my husband and <laughs> we bought fruits and vegetables and chicken that was on sale. And that was it. And we spent $150. I'll agree that it might have been cheaper than like if we had got like a bunch of junk food and like shit, you know, because yeah, I feel like we could have spent the same like 200 bucks almost and not have the same quality of food. So that's a fair argument. But also why the fuck are fruits and vegetables so expensive? Like what the fuck? This is ridiculous. So that's why I started my own garden because fuck that. Oh, I can only eat fruits and vegetables now. Everything else makes me vomit. Oh, okay. I have fuck grocery stores then. What's a grocery store? So, but I started my fucking garden too late because I'm a procrastinator, like, with everything. And so I only have, like, half of the vegetables that I planted that I thought I was gonna have because I started, like, two months after you were supposed to start your garden. All right, I'm done doing my eyebrows poorly. Um, but honestly, I mean, food is just expensive in general. Like, food is just expensive. It's, if you're buying junk food, it's expensive. If you're eating like really, really healthily, it's super expensive. I, I am super embarrassed to fucking admit this, but I'm gonna fucking say it anyways because no one's gonna see this, honestly, except for my husband and my mom. So hi, you two. Um, <laughs> uh, honestly, one of my favorite.
favorite things to watch is like Amberlynn Reed reaction channels on YouTube. Cause like, what the fuck? All I can think is like, how much is your food bill? Like if I feel like my food bill is expensive and I'm only buying healthy food, which is apparently cheaper. And I feel like I'm spending hella money on food. Like this is ridiculous, you guys. How much money do you think like they spend? Right? Like, fuck. And it's also annoying because I live in a school bus. And so I don't even have enough room to like properly store all of the food that I'm uh, trying to buy, you know? Like I have like basically a mini fridge, like I have an apartment fridge. And it's really annoying because I can only eat like fucking so many things and I can't really store any of them for longer than a couple of months like I buy everything in bulk everything in bulk I should do a grocery shopping video actually see on Instagram and YouTube and like all these people that are so excited and they just love living in a school bus so much and it's the best thing in the world and like blah 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 that is a fucking lie that is not the truth okay it is so frustrating living in a cool bus, you guys. It's literally like, it's fun for about two minutes. And then you remember, oh yeah, that's right. We live in a school bus. I know I'm not supposed to put tape on here. I should just spend the money. Maybe I'll do that today. And get one of those really cool sticker things for your eye. So I don't have to just keep using scotch tape because I know that it's bad for your skin. And then you see break out and like, all the stuff okay i know that um however we use what we have and not what we wish for okay and i have scotch tape social media of course is not reality right we all know that right but i feel like especially with like the van life shit like it is so overly glamorized and no one's honest like this shit sucks most of the time it is not that fun like honestly it's hella annoying it's like the temperature is off unless unless you spend fucking too much money on a goddamn school bus it's not fun to live in a school bus but it's like if you're gonna spend that much money to live in a school bus like i get it because some people like have a big ass family and like hella kids you know what i mean but like honestly i feel like if you're gonna spend a hundred thousand dollars fifty thousand dollars fucking a whole bunch of money on renovating a school bus don't like don't do anything else we originally wanted to just do the regular tiny house thing because like i didn't mind living in a tiny house i mean i feel like either way it would have been annoying but at least if we were in a tiny house we could move around more freely i feel like it's just really overly glamorized and i feel like people don't talk enough about like all of the shit that's hella annoying you know it's great for what it is it's it's super great for being a place that we own that we can live somewhere really quiet it's really peaceful it's beautiful out here you know i have my own garden like it's honestly the shit and our rent is like six hundred dollars don't get it twisted though i live in a school bus you know like yeah my rent is 650 dollars however i live in a school bus it's really easy for people on instagram to like i guess really like trick everyone into thinking that like hashtag ban life and like whatever the fuck you know just because it looks so cool and like who else can say that they live in a school bus you know not many people and that's for a really good reason you guys that is for a really really good reason it's because the shit sucks most of the time it's you know there's a reason why houses are houses and school buses are for transportation honestly that's really what it comes down to like i don't know i mean part of it has to do with the fact that we didn't like do all of the shit i guess as well or as professionally as we should have when we first built it but also you have to remember who the fuck has money for that you know what i mean honestly though like as shitty as it is like we definitely are making a lot of memories here it's like i don't know how people live in school buses with fucking kids that's what i really don't understand cookie break 
it's not too bad living in a school bus not having any kids but i feel like there's like this weird stigma about being a kidless housewife and i don't get it so do you guys feel like that if any of you are housewives watching this whether or not you have kids or don't have kids do you feel the like weird kind of like stigma when you tell people that you're a housewife like it feels like they automatically think that you're less than it's really nice that i can like i don't know kind of like do my own shit and start my own business and start a youtube channel and like all this excuse me fun stuff that most people never get to do because they have to work all the time and i feel like it's really frowned upon and like people assume that we just don't do anything all day and whatever but honestly fuck them right i'm not even really into makeup i've never been like a big makeup girl i just it's fun i like art i like pretty colors i like i like painting you know and kind of like painting for your face i've always done like some type of theater or ballet or something so i've always had to put makeup on or had makeup put on me because i was doing some type of performance or something but like on my own i like i don't just wear a bunch of makeup like that's not my thing i'm not saying it's bad if that is your thing it's just not my thing i love colourpop i got this palette from colourpop it's called yes please Look at me, I'm a beauty guru. It's like, um, I liked it because like, I don't know, the Fall into Frost one was more like dark purple and pinks and like browns and stuff, like more neutral sparkly colors. But this one was like really, really bright sparkly colors. But today I am going to make my own palette on ColourPop. Um, I'm gonna do all the colors of the rainbow and like a couple of sparkly colors into two. Because I don't have any matte colors, and I've really been liking pairing a matte color with a sparkly lid color lately. I don't even have anything that I'm getting ready for. Probably not going to put on mascara, because it's annoying to take off, and my eyelashes are so curly, and uh, but I might, I don't know, we'll see how I feel. Um, but it's $45, and there's like a bunch of different options. There's one that's $24, and I was going to get that one because I really like to not spend money but um yeah then i ran out of circles on the palette that i was trying to make because i wanted too many eyeshadow colors so you know morphe palettes do not fucking label what the fuck their stuff is at all they're like figure it out good luck karen i don't know oh god damn it if you've made it this far and you're not my mom or my husband, hi. Drop your Instagram down below. I'll follow you. Seems like you want to be friends. <laughs> follow me at Sin City. I'll put that somewhere if I can figure out how to fucking do that with my editing thing. Because Lord knows, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm one of those girls that does not shave. <laughs> I hate shaving. It's like, you why? <laughs> I'm poor and I can't afford an iPhone, so I just have a fucking Samsung that my mommy and daddy bought for me like four years ago when I was a senior in high school, okay? <laughs> because I dropped out of like high school, high school, so I fucking hated school. I didn't even have any friends. I was such a loser. I didn't smoke pot. I didn't, like, not, like, honestly, not even that smoking pot or anything makes you cool. Really? issue was that I did not care about fitting in so I didn't and then I stuck out like a sore thumb I stood out not stuck out that doesn't make any sense I'm a gloss girl so I'm gonna put a little gloss on. I'm not gonna put this mascara on like super great I'm just gonna slap a fog I fucked up That's what I get for doing it so recklessly, but I'm not going anywhere, so... Yeah, I would put on a little bit of eyeliner, but I really don't feel like it. And that's, like, a lot. My eyelashes are so curly, you guys. If I put on too much mascara, like, if I put it all the way to the tips of my eyelashes, and then open my eyes, it just... I get little black dots on my eyelids from... Mascara. LOL. 
well. Found that out the hard way. Um, I could put on some lipstick to go with this because I have a lipstick color that like almost perfectly matches this eyeshadow, but I really do not feel like it. I don't know where it is. I don't feel like looking for it. I don't feel like getting up right now to try and go look for it. Honestly, I really don't. I feel like getting up to pour myself a glass of wine though. Give me some of that vino. If you're not 21, you can drink fucking sparkling apple cider, okay? Oh fuck, my battery's dying! Um, if you like this video, definitely subscribe, give me a thumbs up. If you fucking hate it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments, boo, you fucking sub bitch, because I wanna know, right? So, yeah, um, peace out, homies. I was filming another video today, but I don't think I can finish that, so, I don't know.